Hello there, our football travels have taken us to the eastern part of the English capital. A clear night here at the London Stadium. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player, Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's West Ham United, and they take on Arsenal. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Always difficult to predict in advance who might decide a game, but you could make a strong case for this man, I think, Stuart. What are you expecting to see from him? Well, Derek, in the last game, he was absolutely outstanding. It wasn't just the two goals that he scored, but it was his general play, his link-up play, his ability to run beyond defenders, his ability on the ball to create. Well, I think we're going to see more of the same today. And the starting lineup for West Ham United. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4 5 1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. And this is the Arsenal starting 11. Aaron Ramsdale as the goalkeeper. Granite Jacker plays alongside Martin Odegor in central midfield. And the main striker here is Edward Nketia. A game that should be full of entertaining moments. And it's West Ham United who begin. Snuffing out the danger. Tavares. Martinelli. And Ketia has it. Nketiah and a foul in the opinion of the referee now what can they do from this free kick situation and using his body to good effect giving the ball away An example of how to press. And delivered into the box. And possession given away. Declan Rice. It is a decent looking attack here. To go ahead. Well, what an opportunity that was. Well, that's a great chance to open the scoring. It's a poor effort in the end. Martin Odegaard. Saka. Chance to cross. And cut again from the flank. Xhaka. Well, the keeper wanted to take it cleanly and did. Getting in there to intercept. Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. Suchek. Good technique displayed. Opportunity to deliver the cross. And the keeper there to catch it under no real pressure. A 
And he read it well defensively. For Niles. Possession changing hands. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. Arsenal pushing forward with options available. Martin Odegaard going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss. And a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. Lanzini. Antonio. Can he play it in? Excellent ball towards the front post. Tavares Granit Xhaka It's with Erdogan And the whistle is sounded for half time in this game So they get the ball rolling in the second half. Even Steven here. So little to choose between the sides. Gabriel Martinelli. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in. And Kessia. And it's played into the centre. Well thumped clear. Granite Jacker. Able to get a body in the way. Well, he was one of the better players in the first half, but needed to be better still. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, he didn't contribute enough in that first half. I think he needs to work harder to get on the ball. He was far too static. In my view, he's got to make more runs behind this back line in the second half. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. For Niles, and the cross smuggled away. Determined block, and touched onto the frame of the goal. Well, they've been frustrated for quite a while now, but these fans have suddenly come to life. He's driven in the corner. Well cleared away. This looks more than decent. And a chance for them to nudge in front. And it was a great chance for 1-0. Well, that should have been the opener, shouldn't it? What a chance that was. Applying vigorous pressure. Crossing possibilities. Well, the clearance half-hearted. Danger averted for now. Moving the ball forward with purpose. And crossing towards the far post. No nonsense clearance.
Xhaka. Well, you've got to classify that as a poor attempt. A long way wide. And time for the change now. Well, as the stats tell us, they just haven't created enough chances. They need to get the ball into wide areas, get crosses into the box, and then get their front players attacking the ball. Well, they're sitting ever deeper. Bukayo Saka. Can they convert? And pull back. It's got to be. Oh, great block. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. And that is going to be a free kick. Just ten minutes to go. And forward go Arsenal. Do they have a late winning goal in their future? But nothing comes of it. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Suchek. Well, can they be creative from here? The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. And the keeper grabs it. Arsenal's free kick here. Well, time is running out to get this winner. But the fans certainly believe it's coming. Just listen to the noise. What a fantastic finish we could have here. Well, a powerful effort, but he couldn't quite keep the shot down. Ben Rama. On the ball, Mikael Antonio. Well, totalling up all the stoppages, we'll have two additional minutes. Well, they're certainly thinking about a winner. Well, let's look at the replay they move the ball so well just waiting for an opening and from there he never looked like missing that's a lovely goal and the Gunners go down they've lost this game no points picked up what did you think of it? well Derek it was a poor result but it was a really tight contest both sides had their chances could have gone either way but in the end they will be disappointed well there's a sound reason why we're focusing on him he's made his presence felt and attached to it well I thought he had a good all round performance today only emphasised by the late winner an extremely important moment and boy did he deliver